Saint Victorinus of Peto or of Poetovio died 303 or 304 was an early Christian ecclesiastical writer who flourished about 270, and who was martyred during the persecutions of Emperor Diocletian. A bishop of Poetovio modern PTUJ in Slovenia, German, Peto in Pannonia, Victorinus is also known as Victorinus Petavianensis, Poetavianensis or Victorinus of PTUJ. Life Born probably in Greece on the confines of the Eastern and Western Empires or in Poetovio with rather mixed population, due to its military character, Victorinus spoke Greek better than Latin, which explains why, in St. Jerome's opinion, his works written in the latter tongue were more remarkable for their matter than for their style. Bishop of the city of Peto, he was the first theologian to use Latin for his exegesis. His work is in the main exegetical. Victorinus composed commentaries on various books of Holy Scripture, such as Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Habakkuk, Ecclesiastes, the Canticle of Canticles, St. Matthew, and the Apocalypse, besides treatises against the heresies of his time. All that has survived is his commentary on Apocalypse and the short tract on the construction of the world De Fabrica Mundi. Victorinus was a firm believer in the millennium he was also much influenced by Origen, his works were ranked with the Apocrypha in the decree, later attributed to Pope Gelasius I, which excluded and anathematized them with that of many other early fathers. That is to say they were not considered free of error. By contrast, St. Jerome gives him an honorable place in his catalogue of ecclesiastical writers. Jerome occasionally cites the opinion of Victorinus in Eccles, IV. 13, in Azech, XXVI, and elsewhere, but considered him to have been affected by the opinions of the Chiliasts or Millenarians. According to Jerome, Victorinus died a martyr in 304. He is commemorated in both the Eastern and Western churches as the 2nd of November. Until the 17th century, he was sometimes confused with the Latin rhetorician, Victorinus Offer. Topic. Commentary on the Apocalypse Topic. The commentary was composed not long after the Valerian persecution, about 260. According to Claudio Moreschini, "...the interpretation is primarily allegorical, with a marked interest in arithmology. It seems that he did not give a running commentary on the entire text but contented himself with a paraphrase of selected passages." Victorinus was apparently the first of the Church Fathers to ascertain the basic notion of repetition, that the Apocalypse is not one uninterrupted and developing line of prophecy, but rather that various subdivisions run parallel with each other. And he saw that the theme of the soon coming Second Advent was a continuous thread of thought throughout the Apocalypse. He wrote of the seven churches as representing seven classes of Christians within the Church. The seven seals are explained as constituting a prophetic foreview of the spread of the Gospel throughout the world. In connection with the Second Advent and the end of the world he looked for wars, famines, pestilences and persecution of the Church. The crowned rider of the four horsemen seated upon the white horse, going forth, conquering, and to conquer, is interpreted as prophetic of Christ's Church going forth on its victorious mission, the triumph of Christianity over paganism. The red horse is explained as, coming wars, predicted as salient events preceding the end. The black horse, Victorinus avers, signifies famines in the time of the Antichrist. The pale horse meant coming destructions. The angel with the seal in chapter 7 symbolizes Elias the prophet as the precursor of the times of Antichrist. Quote, then comes the kingdom of Antichrist and finally the angel reapers smite the kingdom of Antichrist delivering the saints, the great red dragon with seven heads of chapter 12 he sees as Rome, from which springs Antichrist in the last times, amid the ten horns. The Antichrist springs from the battle in heaven, and the expulsion and his earthly domination foil the three and a half years of Elijah's preaching. The first and second angels of Revelation chapter 14 are the predicted Elias and Jeremiah, witnessing before the second advent and end of the world, ushering in the eternal kingdom. The leopard beast of Revelation chapter 14 signifies the kingdom of the time of Antichrist. Victorinus considers the 666 of verse 18 as the computation of letters, each of which comprise the equivalent number, of an assortment of possible names. 
After the seven plagues of the last days in Revelation chapter 15, Babylon, in Revelation chapter 17, is identified as Rome seated upon her seven hills, drunk with the blood of martyrs. The seven heads of the seven-hilled Rome are believed, in their immediate application, to represent seven emperors, the sixth being Domitian, with the eighth who is of the seven, as Nero. The ten horns of Daniel 7 are equated with those of the Apocalypse, with three of the kings killed by the Antichrist. Topic. Works Topic. On the creation of the world Commentary on the Apocalypse Topic. Footnotes Topic. Topic. References Topic. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Herbermann, Charles, ed., 1913. Saint Victorinus. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton. Froome, Leroy, 1950. The Prophetic Faith of Our Fathers, DJVU and PDF, 1. Topic. External links. Topic. November 2 Feasts at OrthodoxWiki.org Works of Victorinus Victorinus at Catholic.org Victorinus at EarlyChurch.org.uk Victorinus at St. Patrick DC.org Victorinus at Catholic Forum. Com. Opera Omnia by Migni Petrologia Latina with analytical indexes.